everybody! So this is a kind of random video. I don't know what to call it. Of course, by the time this goes up, there will be a title above my head, but I'm still thinking for a catchy name for basically a video where I have a whole bunch of stuff that's either been sent to me and or I bought, and I haven't done reviews on it, and some of it I haven't even used, so it's not even a first impressions, and it's kind of a haul, but it's more like, look at all the crap I got. What interests you? What do you want to see? That's a very long title. So... As I just said, this is a, just a collection of things that have been sent to me, a few things that I've picked up on my own. I don't know if I want to use them for reviews or first impressions or tutorials or if you even care. So this is when you tell me, yeah, that looks interesting, tell me more, or mm, we can pass on that. So let's get into it. I will start with what's in here. So for reasons I'm not completely sure, Tarte sent me what I think might be their entire blush line. They sent me 12, I'm not even kidding you, 12 blushes. There's eight. And there are four more. And um, it's like an embarrassment of riches. This is, this is insane. I am wearing one of them. Which one might it be? I think it's this one. Captivating. These are their Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes. I am a huge fan of the Clinique Cheek Pops and love them to death, but I am very interested in looking and trying these. These are much more pigmented, I can tell you that. This one's called Flush, and this one looks incredibly scary, but I bet would be gorgeous. It's called Natural Beauty. Anyway, as soon as I, I mean really, come on, really? On my face? Maybe not so much. Maybe with a light hand, but you know, not everyone is this this is a tan, so not everyone is this pasty white, so this could be good on pretty much everybody else. Anyway, um, as soon as I figure out how to film a good cheek review, I am going to do that because I owe you one on the Clinique ones as well. Kristen Game did a really good one. I need to go back and watch her video on how she did a bunch of cheek swatches because she nailed it. Okay, so that was sent to me. Let's stay on the sent to me tangent. T3 sent me a hair dryer, which I've talked about, and I will do a review, and I'll probably do a dedicated T3 post because the hair dryer, I can skip you the trouble of watching the video. The hair dryer is amazing. And they sent me two curling irons. This one has a special name. Does it even matter? It's rose gold. Like, does it even matter? Yes, it does. Um, what is this thing called? I don't know, but it's the kind where you push the button and it twirls on it, it like spins on its own. So excited to try their version. And this one is um, a little pornographic looking. This one is, it's hollow, how cool is that? And it's a one and a three quarter inch, 1.7, no, yeah, 1.75 inches. And it's not so much curling, but to give you that smooth polished look, and this is second day hair. So um, I think it did an amazing job and I didn't even really try that hard and I still need to learn how to use it. But I will review those. I just thought you should, if you're kind of intrigued, just so that you know they're coming and to look out for that review. So I went to Walmart and I also, so I put everything that I want to talk about in this bag so not everything comes from Walmart. So um, this does not come from Walmart. This is a tanning mitt from Ulta. It's really flimsy. It's terrible. It's so flimsy that some of this is first impressions, that when you put it on and you start rubbing, it starts sliding off your hand because it just has no heft to it. So I would save your money. I still haven't found a good one. Um, what's this? Oh, I bought, um, there's the new beauty test tube that you can get. It's a subscription monthly thing, but at Costco they have the test tube box, like uh, just a few things. And one of the things that was in it was the tan towel, which I'm going to give uh, a run because these, I've used these before and they're great. And this comes with the full body towelettes, um, one for fair to medium, one for medium to dark, base tan ones, and an exfoliating towelette. So I'm looking forward to giving all those another go. This is a container for this, another fail. I got this at Walmart. And you're like, what, Marnie, what is this? This is supposed to be a self tanner for the back. What is this called? Sunmate lotion applicator. Applying lotion has never been so easy. It's to apply skincare products to hard to, for hard to reach areas. This has no, it doesn't absorb anything, which I guess is technically good, but all it does is sort of slide the product around and it doesn't absorb well and it was a disaster. So this is like one of those as seen on TV, don't, don't even buy it, don't buy it. Okay. Oh, I bought this. It's such, 
don't know that you care, but it's the MAC brush cleaner. I don't often use this for everyday cleaning. I like to decant this into a small little spray bottle and kind of just spray a little bit into my hand, swish the brush around if I need to um, like change brushes in midstream, so to speak. It dries pretty much instantaneously. Ah, I got this at Walmart. This is the Hard Candy Natural Eyes Palette. And, big mirror, oops. This is amazing. I have been using this a lot and I'm sorry I didn't link it in the description box. Um, I, I, they are basically complete knockoffs of the Too Faced palettes. They have a bunch of them to choose from. There's a smoky eye one and I can't remember the other one, but oh my gosh, I don't even know if you can see how gorgeous this is. The colors are so wearable, so beautiful. It comes with a primer that's really good. It comes with a really cheap, terrible little pencil. Um, eyeliner and it comes with a little booklet and tells you different looks really well done I think it was six dollars I mean it was ridiculously cheap I think it's six dollars so highly recommend that oh here's the little face versions I haven't even bothered using this I mean they're just so flimsy what was I thinking um okay there's a bit of a hard candy haul I wore this a lot last week this is the claws up version and then I I'm gonna go do my nails after I do this video. This is the Hard Candy Nail Polish in Sky. This is the original sort of breakout nail polish that they're famous for. I like Hard Candy nail polishes. I picked up a travel size of the airbrush legs from Sally Hansen, the Smooth On Perfect Legs in an instant. I am obsessed with finding ways to cover up the uneven pigmentation on my legs and spider veins and all the fun things that happen when you get old and you have white pasty skin. I'll have a review coming on a Dermablend product, but I'm not done playing with it yet, so I can't give you an impression yet. Haven't tried these yet. Butter London um, sent me some nail lacquer in the color Ladybird. They did, I think it's a gorgeous color. They did send me a matching lip crayon, which I've, t no, this is not it, which I've talked about. I don't know where it went. Ah, the, I talked about this already, I think in maybe a vlog. Soap and Glory sent me a bunch of products to review and I fell in love with two of them, the Soap and Glory Flake Away and the Soap and Glory um, Body Butter, but which I mentioned in a vlog, but didn't um, talk about here on my beauty stuff is the Pillow Plump in the shade Pink Well. I'm gonna put it on now and maybe by the end of the video, we can decide if my lips look bigger. I tried this on once and it hurt like nobody's business but I'll do almost anything for you guys, so. A little pain to see. There's a bug. Do you know that trick? You put your finger in and you suck it off and if anything comes off, then it, like color-wise, it would have been on your teeth. It smells a bit of coffee. This is the Butter London Mascara Iconoclast Mega Volume. I've tried it. It's got the funky ball on one end and just didn't do anything. It's just there. It's like nothing to get excited about. Mm -mm. This is though. This is the MAC lip pencil in Ruby Woo to match my favorite red lip of all time. It's always good to have a good lip liner when you're doing a bright red. Okay, I'm starting to lose feeling in my lips. The Maybelline Dream Bronze BB. I saw this when I went to Walmart. I don't really get what it does. Um, it's an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Sun Kiss Glow Perfector. It also has an SPF of 25. I know Emily Noel 83 did a review on this that I haven't had. A, it's in my watch later. Um, it looks like just, you know, foundation that's too dark for me. But I guess when you rub it in, it's supposed to give like a nice, oh yeah. Is this a day when I don't want to do makeup? What kind of day would that be? Um, no, after I do some fake tanning, I'm going to give this a try. I think that's great. I'm also going to watch Emily's video to figure out how to use it. My lips are really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? Okay, um, picked up the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation in my sort of summer shade, 820. I did use this a few times, so this is a, a quick review. Um, not for me. It doesn't have as much coverage as the original Outlast, and this time of year, I really don't need to add to my dewiness. I may revisit this. I will revisit this. Um, in the winter when I get dull skin. Then it's going to be cool. Great. Of course, now then it won't be the right shade, but oh well. Oh my gosh, my lips are on fire. This was sent to me. Um, this is a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Apparently it's like a gel. It is like a gel. I'm not saying like, like, oh my God, no, like. This is, I'm sorry, I'm cracking myself up. I'm having fun, what can I say? It is, gives you the results 
similar to a gel nail polish without having to do the UV light and all that stuff. Haven't tried it yet. I see like a faint, yeah, there's a shimmer to it. I don't know what color, this is the shade. Oh, pink up. That's a happy shade. I mean, I don't know what to pick next. And still not feeling my lips. Wow. Okay. All time favorite blush brush of all time is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Is that what it's called? Yes. But you can't buy it by itself. Now, finally, my local Walmart is carrying the Real Techniques brushes. Yay! Um, so I have to pick up the pack. And the pack is the, it's the Travel Essentials. On location, Travel Essentials 2.0. And you get the multi-purpose brush, which, or multi-task brush, which is amazing. You get their Essential Foundation brush, which is not, I don't think it's great for foundation, but I think it's great for is padding and concealer, and also smoothing on um, any facial masks you might want to use. Love using it for that. And another domed shadow brush, which is great for eyes and, again, for blending in your concealer. The original Real Techniques brushes, I've been hard-pressed to find anything better. And what's left? Pfft, I'm sorry. Um, this was in that new beauty test tube box. It's the Balanced Guru. No frizz oil, organic sesame and lemongrass balancing oil. It's got the little bunny on it, so it's cruelty free, no animal testing. It smells lovely. I have not tried this. I kind of forgot I had it. You put it in your hair when it's wet and it's not supposed to frizz. That sounds great. Also came with a Stila eyeliner, which I left in my room. The, they're great, I love steel eyeliners. And then this, it, this was also in that kit. These are, one is the Mally Under Makeup Corrector, and the other is, it's difficult to talk when your lips feel like they weigh 70 pounds. And this is the Under Makeup Highlighter. I tried using the corrector one. Kiki loves them, like she, these are completely matte. Um, so you twist it up and then you put it on under your foundation. And I find that the formula, see, you can see that, um, like that peachy pink, um, that's for the highlighter. And then the corrector is a little more orangey. There you go. Um, Kiki, my friend Kiki, loves these. And I like, uh, I said I don't like to glow. I don't like my whole foundation to glow, but I do like my highlighter to glow. And this does not. But if you are into the, the, more natural look, then these are actually very good. They're, it's more of a dry feeling, so they blend in very nicely, and your makeup isn't really gonna stick and get tacky, but you put this on bare skin and then put your foundation on top. So that is all the random stuff for the most part. I'm sure if, as soon as I turn this off, I'll be like, oh, I forgot. But, oh, and this nail polish. This nail polish was part of the new test tube kit, Jenna Hip. I don't have the name of it because when I pulled it out of the box, the label ripped off. And it's not on her regular website. I looked. I know I could get one word out of it. So this is, I think, limited to the new Beauty Test Tube. It's a very pretty color. I have acrylic nails, so I really couldn't tell you if it lasts a particularly long time on regular nails, what have you. But it's a nice little color. That is everything. So out of everything that you saw, please let me know if there's anything here that piqued your interest. I will tell you that for sure I'm doing a review on the T3 products and the Tarte blushes because those are pretty amazing. Everything else, you know, you tell, oh, and I would like to do a tutorial, if you don't mind, with the um, Naturalized palette from Hard Candy. Really impressed with that. Anything else, it's really up to you what you wanna hear more about. You're the one who has to watch this, so I want you to be happy. Um, for all the information, I will list everything below. If I can find where to buy it online, I will link that as well. Everything that's going on on my face, I will list below. Everything I have on my body that you can see, I list below. If I miss something, don't forget to ask, but really do open up that description box. It has a whole lot of information in there. Um, okay, my last, my last thoughts on the lips really not comfortable. It really hurts. So the second time I've tried it, it's not any better. I'm not recommending the pillow plump. Just no, no. Mm -mm. Rather just get another lip injection. It's one, one and done. Okay. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate y'all sticking around and watching the beauty content along with the daily vlogs. I know vlogs are not for everyone. I know beauty content is not for everyone. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!
Hey everyone! Well, in my house, summer is officially here, school is over, and we are in the full swing of going to the pool, being outside all day, being in the sun, being hot and sweaty. 